Hey guys, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Oma and I'm glad to have you around today. If you are just stopping by today, you are welcome. If you've been an old subscriber, I truly appreciate you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for staying with Oma. I do not take your love for granted. You are welcome. All right, today I want to teach us how we can be able to cleanse ourselves. If you notice that you've stayed with someone, if slept with a man or a woman you do not know, it's his or her spiritual status. Okay? Like, if you don't know, understand someone's spiritual status and you go ahead and have sexual intercourse with the person, it can affect your spiritual life and it can also affect you financially. It can cause a lot of harm, spiritual and physical harm to you. There are certain women that you come across when you sleep with them. It's not even them, but it is about the spirit that is in them. It's possible they are from water. It's possible they are from every other origin. And they've not done certain things they need to do. Or maybe their spirits, these spiritual husbands, or even in men, it happens in men. It's not only limited to women. So I want to teach you how you have to cleanse yourself to be free from anything that is associated with that very person. Okay? Spiritually, so that you'll be free as a man. This is not a guarantee for you to be, you know, flirting. But uh, like it is said, prevention is better than kill. It is best to teach you how to fish, okay, than to be giving you fishes. All right? Wait. And again, even though, um, even though when you go to all these health, health centers, they give you condoms for you to protect yourself, does not mean they encourage you to start flirting around. It is just for protection. Okay? Great. So I'm going to be teaching you two things today. How to cleanse yourself after you sleep with a strange woman or a strange man. All right, so that it will not affect you spiritually and physically. And the second one is if you notice anything called poo, what you understand, mm -hmm, poo in front of your shop or in front of your house, how you can be able to make it return the charm that is that is charm that is done with that poo to return it back to the sender. All right. Okay, let's start with the frost. It is a very simple ritual, so it's not going to take much, much of our time. The frost is what? How to cleanse yourself after you experience, after you have a sexual intercourse, out of um, alcohol or, or even if you have done it willingly, okay? You also need to protect yourself so that these things will not come after you, will not haunt us. Do you know that there are people that have, have remained poor? today because of the women they have carried there are men that have given up the ghost because of the kind of women they slept with do you do you even know what do you know that if you've had sexual if you have a sexual uh, knowledge of somebody or if, if a woman or a man do you know that there is a connection with it that two people have spiritually so you need to cleanse yourself. It doesn't matter if you use if you it doesn't matter if you had this sexual intercourse wearing a condom or not. What matters is that there is a connection in the spiritual realm. So I am going to teach you how you can cleanse yourself with it. Now it is very simple. You're gonna make use of alligator pepper. All right, make use of alligator pepper. Or if you can, if you are this kind of man that you are using some some protection soap, okay? Yes, or some protection stuffs. And you notice that you slept with a, a strange woman. All you need is a native alligator pepper. I said native alligator pepper, please. I did not say agric alligator pepper. Use native alligator pepper. Take your both hands to the back and open it the normal way. I've been teaching you guys how to open your alligator pepper. Taking both hands to the back, right? Okay. So you're gonna do you're gonna do it like that and bring your hands to the front. Okay. After you finish, then you open the alligator pepper. Take four seats or seven seats. You can take four seats, you can use four seats, or you can use seven seats. If you started with four seats, then complete it. But if you started with seven seats, complete it. They are all the same thing. Okay? What does it mean to use four seats? Anyone, if the woman is born in the. What does it even mean to use, you know, four seats? If the woman or the man is born in any of the four market days. All right? Great. If you also use seven, it means seven days of the week. Okay, so it is still the same thing. 
nobody is born out of this days okay now you take four let me take for instance we are doing four you open it then you take four mm -hmm. now i want to make this clear you are starting from your left ear from your face not through the back okay great you are going to take it that is anti-clockwise you take it round your a k in a k that is after you finish your prayers all right after you finish your prayers you are going to use this word seat to pray that whatever that is associated whatever it is that this woman that you've slept with is carrying that you are not it's not going to affect you spiritually physically it is not going to affect any of your seats it is not going to affect your family negatively okay great that you use it to remove any negative energy that is associated with that very woman or that very strange man okay great now you take it around your head four times after the after the foot like this in a k in ori in a four in unquo mm? afterwards you go and drop it maybe on the on the ground close to the wall, in your garden, in the bush, anywhere you know that a woman in her period will not step on it. Okay? Great. Now, it doesn't matter. There are some things. There are some ones you need. Even if a woman touches uh, their legs on it, it doesn't matter. Like this very one. You know, once you do it in a day, it is gone. It's finished. All right? Mm -hmm. The next day, someone steps on it. It's none of your business. It has done the work you wanted to do for you. It's not like a woman in her period cannot step on it forever. But no, I need to let you know. Like now, if you use this um, alligator pepper and then get a job, maybe you're going for an interview. You've already gotten the job. Whatever that happens after you've gotten the job, it's none of your business. All right? Yes, it's not going to affect you anymore. Even if a woman on a period steps on it, it doesn't really matter. Okay? Yes. So it's applicable to other um spiritual products all right so long as it has served its purpose no problem you have no fears to entertain all right great so this is it for the one the first one i said i'm going to teach then this is the second one okay this is the second one you're going to be making use of two items the same alligator pepper and what your bitter cola okay bitter cola and alligator pepper okay great if you notice that anyone has pulled in front of your shop has done charm you come to the shop or maybe you come in front of your house you notice this ugly thing this ugly smelly thing called pool in front of your house do not worry okay all you have to do is to get your alligator pepper open it the normal way then you take four seeds from it and open remove the back of the husk of this um of this um, um bitter cola then you chew it all right put them inside your mouth as you're chewing it to be saying that, that it must return back to the sender whoever that has sent this into your shop that has kept this nonsense into your shop in front of your shop that you're saying that by now it's going to return back to the sender then after chewing it you you splash it in the air in a key in ori in afro and on all right you do what you splash it in the air if you are not from Igbo, do not worry we are not speaking latin here okay it is still tradition now if you're not from Igbo, you say in the east in the west in the north and in the south okay and then you will notice that the person wherever the person is the person will start feeling uncomfortable the person will never have rest all right because that very thing they have sent to you will return back to the sender immediately all right great thank you guys this is what i said let me come and teach you guys today if you enjoyed this video please give me thumbs up thumbs up thank you all right please don't forget to um sh don't forget to click on the subscribe button put on your notification button on so that whenever i create a new content you will always get your notification you will always get a notification all right please like this video share this video invite your friends and family to come and share in this wealth of knowledge thank you and do have a lovely day Oma cares and i love you all a whole lot bye